Uh, hello everyone again. Uh, today I have Ford C Max 2 uh, 1.6 with the engine code PNDA. The car has just uh, come to the garage as you can see. Uh, the engine is uh, oiling very very rough and uh, the engine management light is illuminating also there is an another uh, uh, like uh, uh, light illuminating and also the <coughs> uh, traction control light is also Ill illuminating and also when you put into reverse case you want to move the car uh, the engine uh, stalls this time the engine did not stall but when I started at the beginning when I put into reverse gear and just when I released the clutch pedal and the engine stalled so now I'm going to put the car <coughs> inside uh, of the garage and then uh, investigate further and then uh, I will share that with you guys. Uh, as you can see the engine is shaking and it's misfiring so uh, uh, let's connect the scanner to it and uh, 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 check the fault code that uh, what type of uh, uh, diagnostic trouble code uh, codes have stored in the uh, ECU. So, as you can see, the engine is shaking.
so there are uh, many fold codes stored in, in every different individual uh, module so we have got two fold codes in the PCM two fold codes in ABS system and uh, two fold code in restraint control module and so no yeah one fold code in restraint control module and one fold code in uh, IPC or instrument uh, panel control module. So we are actually uh, focused uh, uh, on PCM uh, uh, fold codes. So let's check that what we have got in <coughs> so read fold code. So key on yeah that's fine. So the vehicle must be prepared for read codes instruction. Do not activate vehicle switches during tests. Ensure the following initial conditions or met vehicle is not moving. The transmission range selector <coughs> lever should be in the park position. Ensure the parking brake is on. Yeah, that everything is <coughs> applied according to the instruction given here. So let's check that. Set the ignition switch on. Yeah, it is on. We have still got battery voltage one full twelve point seven that's all right that's a good otherwise we should connect a battery charger to it so come on why is it taking too long to yeah so yeah we have got P0073 and I think it's a code 17 time and it says ambient air temperature sensor circuit A high and then C yeah P0073 uh, ambient air temperature sensor circuit A high so ignition coil B primary control circuit open yeah that's another thing and uh, the other uh, uh, fault code which is pending is P0352 and it's ignition coil B primary control circuit open so <laughs> first our focus will be on the two bottom this uh, fault codes uh, because uh, the ambient air temperature sensor circuit it uh, might be you know not non not connected uh, it might be disconnected because as I saw the car first it's a, a collision repaired car the car was um, the car um, uh, had been involved in an accident so that uh, the car has been repaired so that could be because of that the sensor is left or missing so our focus will be on the two bottom uh, fault codes or uh, uh, DTCs which is P0352 and P0352 which is pending so actually they are <coughs> one fault code so let me what's here so failure to circuit it says status current uh, diagnostic trouble code warning lamp on fault is currently present yes warning lamp on yeah uh, range message center or oh, or oh, etc blah 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 okay so uh, now i'm going to 
uh, manually check that uh, the ignition coil circuit. So for this purpose, we need first wiring wiring diagram to look at it. Mm, so see the circuit layout and its function, and also the <coughs> uh, wire color. Uh, then uh, we are going to uh, physically test the circuit on the engine bay. Okay, as you can see, uh, we have connected uh, yellow or uh, channel 1 to pin 3. Uh, here to pin, pin 3 and uh, channel 2 to pin 1. And the middle one is the uh, power supply line. And we have connected this to the scope meter and now we are going to uh, take a signal from the uh, ignition coil pack okay as you can see uh, on the scope meter screen that the event is taking place but you know the uh, green uh, pattern which is uh, uh, connected uh, uh, to uh, pen one uh, there is no any event taking place but the pen three which is the yellow channel or channel one uh, as you can see event is taking place uh, or the ignition is firing so <coughs> uh, I think this uh, uh, each pen uh, pen number one and three uh, controls the pair of uh, ignition uh, uh, sport plugs or uh, uh, <coughs> uh, they are uh, so number one is for the pair of two cylinders uh, responsible for them and number three is for the pair of uh, two cylinders uh, responsible so <coughs> I checked on Utu data, but there is no uh, any manufacturer specification available on on the Utu data. Uh, so even the wiring diagram for the ignition system is not available to be checked. So uh, the the coil has the coil pack. The ignition coil pack has uh, three pens at its connector. So uh, the uh, <coughs> yellow uh, or channel one is connected uh, to pen three and the channel two or the green one is connected to pen one. So the middle pen is uh, the power supply or 12 volt or volt supply voltage to the uh, uh, ignition coil pack. Okay, now I have put the uh, scope channels according to the pen connectors, uh, to the uh, connector pens order. So, <coughs> channel 1 or yellow is on pen 1. Uh, channel 2 or green is on pin 2 which is the uh, 12 volt power supply and channel 3 and uh, blue or purple is on uh, pin 3 and now I'm going to start the engine so
But now I'm going to adjust this to the start that is going to be handled. But so I'm the middle on this one. This is going to be a mountain. So now, so the green is one second because now I haven't got the uh, 12 volt uh, pattern here. As you can see here, when the primary circuit collapses or uh, uh, the ground circuit is uh, no longer grounded by the ECU and also the uh, little bit uh, increase in the battery voltage as you can see at the same time both. So this is why the uh, 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 ignition coil uh, primary circuit is grounded so as soon as the ground fat is uh, 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 no longer available to, for the ignition coil primary circuit and can, as you can see the spike here and that that gets the uh, uh, firing uh, line for the spark plugs and uh, also as you can see the battery voltage uh, increase is at the same time with the uh, collapsing the uh, primary uh, ignition coil uh, magnetic field. <laughs> okay. Now, as you can see, so uh, channel one, the yellow one, is connected to pin one, which is the control uh, wire of the pair cylinder. But I'm not sure that which cylinder the <coughs> pin one control wire, wire is responsible for. And then uh, pin 2 here, the, the green wire, that's the battery voltage, as you can see, it's approximately 14. Let me show you the live data. So, the green line uh, is uh, maximum 15.33 uh, volt, and it's uh, live uh, 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 data is showing 14.91. And the, <coughs> that's the uh, middle pin at the coil pack connector, uh, the, the pin number two, the, the green one, this one. And now uh, the, the other one uh, is the pin three, and also here a channel three, pin three at the coil pack. And light is uh, showing because uh, the <coughs> it's. Uh, 15.2 and the maximum because this is the uh, spark event or the ignition event taking place it's not updating much much quickly as the uh, battery voltage as you can see here so the maximum uh, voltage is 80 so the, the spike can reach or the, fo the firing line can reach uh, 80 Walls <coughs> and the uh, yellow line channel one, as you can see, there is no any event taking place. As you can see, 14.9 steel voltage is available, so it's not grounding somewhere uh, because <coughs> we can see that the uh, 
voltage is the battery voltage or source voltage is going through the coil pack and returning back here and we can measure this 14.8 volt at the control wire that should go somewhere ground uh, through the ECU, ECU but it's not actually grounding so <coughs> now uh, we are going to find out that, that which pair, which pair of cylinder, pen one or control wire, which is uh, uh, connected through pen one to the ignition coil pack, is responsible for. Uh, As you can see, uh, four and one is firing, and uh, let me turn this off to see well. So, four, number one and four is firing, number two and three is not firing. Okay, now I'm going to show you one in individual, individual, individual uh, that which one is uh, firing and which one is not firing. So now I have connected the mm, uh, spark plug uh, tester to uh, number uh, three, to cylinder number three. As you can see, no <coughs> spark is taking place on uh, cylinder number three. So this is the uh, this is the spark spark tester connected here, and it's connected to cylinder number three which this part is not taking place right now. Now I'm going to move the tester to cylinder number two. Okay, now the spark tester is connected to cylinder number two. As you can see, this is the spark test tester. No spark is occurring through this uh, tension lead here. So uh, we have proved and confirmed that cylinder number two and three are not firing. Now I'm going to move the spark tester to the cylinders which are firing. Those cylinders are cylinder 1 and 4. Okay, now I have connected the spark tester to cylinder number 1 which is firing and I'm going to start the engine and you watch. Let me turn the torch off. As you can see, the spark is occurring in cylinder number one. Now I'm going to move 
the spark tester to number four, to cylinder number four. Okay, now I have connected the spark tester tester to cylinder number four. Okay, the engine is running, as you can see, the spark is taking place on in cylinder number four as well. So we have proved that the <coughs> control wire of the ignition coil pack, turn one, is responsible for cylinder three and four. And control wire of the ignition coil pack, uh, pen number three, is responsible for uh, cylinder number four and one. <coughs> so now we are going to investigate further. Uh, first we need to find the uh, electron ECU pen data from somewhere. And then we are going to check at the uh, ECU pen whether uh, the sparking event in cylinder one, uh, sorry, in cylinder two and three, which is right now not taking place, that we will be, will be able will be able to have the uh, signal at the ECU pins once we have connected the scope to it. Okay, once again. This is the ignition coil uh, pack connector with three pens. So, let me find, okay. Uh, on my right side here, this side is pen number one, then the middle one is pen number two, and the far left, this side is pen number three. So, <coughs> pen number one, uh, control wire which is uh, yellow and uh, green with the green uh, trace uh, so this is uh, responsible for for cylinder uh, two and three so <coughs> uh, uh, pen number three with the white and brown uh, color so this is responsible for the control wire of the controlling the uh, uh, primary circuit of the ignition coil for number uh, one and four. So, 